Total revenue for any kind of firm is going to be price times quantity. Average revenue for any kind of firm is going to be equal to price. Marginal revenue is always the change in total revenue over the change in quantity. And for a monopolist, this will not be equal to price. The demand curve for a monopoly firm is going to be downward sloping because it's going to be the market demand. Right? A monopoly firm is the only firm, so market demand is the monopoly's demand. Marginal revenue is also going to be downward sloping. Turns out when you have a linear demand, your marginal revenue is going to be twice as steep. So if my demand is P equals 100 minus 1 third Q, marginal revenue is going to be 100 minus 2 thirds Q. If demand is price equals 50 minus quantity, then marginal revenue is 50 minus 2 times quantity. Now if you don't have linear demand, you can find your total revenue expression and take the first derivative and you'll have your marginal revenue expression. Here's my downward sloping demand curve. It's linear, so marginal revenue is going to be twice as steep. That means the marginal revenue curve should intersect the q-axis halfway between zero and the, where the demand intersects the q-axis.